Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Liliana Vadillo, and this poster session is about my experience trying to reinvent the FluxML website. So first, some background. I was a participant of Season of Talks 2020, and this is a program sponsored by Google in which uh, technical writers and open source organizations are brought together so that technical writers can be introduced to open source organizations and open source organizations can benefit from having a technical writer contributing to their documentation. And my proposal for this program was to actually reinvent the, the FluxML website. And FluxML is a machine learning library that is written entirely in Julia and that is easy and hackable. So please check the project out which, because it's awesome. So my goal for this uh, project was to actually take all of the existing information and reorganize it in a way that it would be easier for users to find documentation and also to contribute with new uh, documents such as tutorials and a getting started guide. So for this session, I want to uh, talk about the three main lessons that I learned during my time as a technical writer in this project. So first of all, it is really important that you understand the ecosystem. So right from the beginning, try to understand how the project fits within the whole ecosystem and how it's actually related to the other projects. So you can better communicate this uh, to your audience and you can encourage them to, to contribute and extend the ecosystem. So it's really important to really understand it right from the beginning. Uh, secondly, uh, you, you should learn your own learning path guide you through the creation of new content. So, because as a technical writer, you have to become an expert in the project that you're documenting. And this is particularly true in a project which is so technical. So you can use that to your own advantage and use that uh, as, a, as your guide you, or how you're creating the content and how you're increasing the level of complexity in your documentation. So, so use that to your advantage. And finally, it's, it's also very important that you create an efficient workflow for reviewing documentation. So it's important that right from the beginning, you set templates and a style guide and also table some content so that reviewing your documentation is, is more efficient and you can actually get to publish faster. And so that way you'll get a uh, feedback from the community faster. So, and of course you can also encourage others to contribute to the documentation. So it's really important that you have a very efficient workflow. And of course, I got to learn so many other things, but these are the main ones that I, I, I wanted to share with you. I also want to give a special thanks to my mentor during the program, Daria Gandhi. And also I want to thank you for, for attending this session and I look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments. So thank you very much.